Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Kaiser Redux. I'm your host, Holy Mocha Lover, in which, right now, we've invaded Japan. Now, it is about July 13th, 1953, and I can't believe that I'm still playing in 1953, but, as you can see, we've invaded, invaded Japan, and I've done a pretty good job. Casualty-wise, only 29 million, but... Oh, no, England's a major power. That's not good. Why is England a major power? English? English? What? No. Japan, obviously, is... Uh, oh, God, no, I don't want to have to invade England. No! Ah, so be it, Celebi, so be it. But we'll finish off uh, Japan together. And we'll try to finish off the English together, which they both have three divisions. It's not that bad, but still. Why do we have to take those guys out? Why, 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 why? Just the English? They're not that strong. Ah. But anyways, hope you guys are having a good day. We've got, got a couple of comments to go through. As you can tell, this is the final episode in this campaign, just because, it, in my mind, honestly, there's not much left, left, left to do, to be frank with you, just because, uh, I mean, we've already taken on most of the world. As you see... Most of Europe is looking pretty American, as it should be, but, yeah, not too bad. Africa's looking pre pretty American. Um, I've just pretty much annexed everyone here. We're still not at war with the Australasian Confederation, but, and it looks like the Qing Chinese are actually losing to the Indians, but hey, it is what it is. And the Australasians are doing okay, so we will take out the Australasians probably just because we can. Uh, hopefully, uh, these guys continue dying, but also we do have another focus. I've gone through all, all the other focuses, except for these last two, just because... I don't want us to, like, flip parties, because, as someone did ask, is uh, Philip Kill still alive? I'm not really sure, I'll be honest, I can't even remember at this point, because this campaign's been too crazy. We're still alive by Jesus Christ, and I don't want to lose Jesus Christ as our King and Savior and Lord, so, yeah, um, yeah, I, I don't want to lose that, just saying. So we'll keep going with what we've got, instead of doing the last focus, because basically this is like a double, two, double thingamabob here, like... We have basically two campaigns going on. Well, we did the Jesus Christ path first with Catholic USA, and then Huey Long came back from the dead or something. So, it is what it is. Actually, off screen, Australasia did invade the Japanese first, but then they lost. And now that we've come back and beat them up, now they're ready to do well again. So, it's, very, it's been just incredibly weird. I'm not really even sure what to say about this campaign. It's just been very, 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 very weird. So, I'm pretty much ready to retire this campaign, and actually, we've already been doing so well. We're running out of things to build for cities. Which is a little insane. Just a little bit insane. So, yeah. Cool. Other comments include... Try the Paraguay path. Oh, God. With uh, Huey Long. I'm pretty sure there's a path like that. Uh, maybe eventually. I'm not really sure. Uh, so, we'll see. And then try out Savinkov sometime. I would like to try out in Russia. You know, the Russian Empire. Whatever it's called. A path with Savinkov again. That sounds like, like, like a lot of fun. That does sound like a lot of fun. Try out Savinkov again. We love Savinkov. He did nothing wrong. Nothing ever wrong. Um, at this point... Point because of where we're at, we got a lot of ships. I'll be honest, we got a ton of ships, tons of subs. Where are you guys all based at? Let's see. Keep one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can take that one off because now we're going to do this. Completely surround the islands, and we're almost completely out of you know actual tech that we care about. So yeah, it's been it's been definitely a campaign. Probably one of my longest campaigns I've done. Not in terms of number of videos, just like. Just period, just like, oh my goodness. Do we have anyone actually down here still? Oh, we have half of you guys. Let's send half of you guys here then. Um, you know, just give me seven. Because it took, takes time for these guys to, like, get preparations and stuff, so. There you go. That takes 24 days. That's not too bad. But Japan is gone, as you can see. And I'm going to continue annexing places. We have no more war support. We currently get 3.5 more weekly war supports. Or stability, I should say. No more war support, but stability, so. Destruction of the Johor Singapore Causeway. Um, at this point, I think only, like, Siam's not in a faction or something like that? Yeah, Siam and, uh, well, Australasian Confederation. But other than that, everyone's in a faction. And we've done really, 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 really well, so, yeah. Not too bad. Liberators, Super Fortresses, sure, why not? Don't think we need any more military factories. I think we already have basically too many, but, you know, that's probably just me. Lockheed P-80 Shooting Star, let's get some Thunderbolts, because we can. And ship-wise, well, oh, Douglas Banshees. Oh, we're still using 1940s close air support, which is a bit extreme. And I'm, I I was too lazy to get to jet fighters. Yeah, I didn't really care about the jet fighter things, so. Oh, are you guys ready to go? Let's go. I just want to go ahead. Don't even bother waiting. Heavy SP artillery, too. Let's just go in. We should be able to beat them up pretty quickly. Capitulate them. Have a good time. Uh, and we're still struggling down here, apparently, it looks like. But that's fine. Just going to wait. We already set those guys off, and we've already landed, so whatever. Take London. Um, how many victory points does this group have here? 
for the way we're currently stacked. Oh, they have eight divisions there. That's, a, that's quite a few, not gonna lie. Oxford, not bad. Alright, so everyone here. Do that. And just go up to, to Edinburgh. Just go. Go kill them off. Kill them all off. Demas? Demas? Nope, nothing down there. Are we winning? Are we attacking? Do we do anything? Do we... Ah, it's you guys. Oh, you guys are still here too. That's good. Good luck. Spread out. I gave you orders. You, did, you didn't spread out. What the heck? Nice. Well, they're completely encircled. Norwich. Cool. Cardiff. If you take a single victory point from Wales, I think they do capitulate. That's pretty nice. They're completely encircled. And we should have the peace deal here very, very soon. How are we already six minutes into this video? That seems a bit extreme to me, but maybe that's just me. Ah, see, we got Wales. The Welsh are gone. Goodbye, Wales. Keep going. How many more? How much more for England? Man, I've, I've played this campaign probably a bit too much. Coventer, Scotland? What the heck is Coventer, Scotland? James Hamilton. Alright. Well, whatever. Leeds? Please, guys, just go for Leeds. I don't want to fight the, the Moscow Accords anymore. And we've got it, and I'll see you when we're probably either going to take out China, India, and or the Australasian Confederation. And here we are, everyone, in June 1954, in which we are... Well, I just went to war already with pretty much everywhere, everyone else in the world. I don't think there's that many people left, but we've killed off quite a few Australasians, you know. Um, we've invaded the islands, uh, or, the, you know, the continent. It wasn't too difficult, actually. I'm not sure where the divisions were at, but we've been killing a lot of ships. And that's how come we've got a lot of uh, casualties for all these people so far, which is a good thing. A lot of casualties, I don't know... Off screen, I mean, I've just been building up this just a massive navy. Every single one of our main fleet has so many ships. We've got 25 carriers, 12 dreadnoughts, 3 battleships, 6 heavy cru armored cruisers, 217 escort cruisers, 222 submarines, and 68 destroyers. Man, you thought the America's Navy in our timeline was big. Oh, man, under Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Uh, he brought the firepower. And, oh, wait a second, I took out Siam too. I took out all these guys, it didn't really matter, so... Military occupation. Very nice. Very nice. And we have lots. Actually, that's a pretty good amount of stability. We don't have any political power, but obviously I don't really care. <laughs> that's alright. Hope you guys are still doing pretty well. Um, yeah, this is, probably, this is definitely the, probably the latest I've ever played. So I've gone to war with these guys. Actually, I should probably keep an eye on what's going on here. Because they're just flooding through here, which is, well, not very good. Even though we're basically flooding through the Chinese country, too. I decided to just kill both of at the same time. Why not? Why not make it lag really hard? Even though the game is actually... It doesn't feel like it sometimes, but it's actually been speeding up a little bit more just because, well, we've taken out most of the world. And when your enemies are dead, the game doesn't have, doesn't have to worry about it, so I'm okay with that. Hopefully we can do pretty well against these guys, though. Uh, I think China's completely out of... Wow, we've killed off a lot of these guys already. Wow. How? Okay, so, I mean, yeah, we've been killing... Okay, we killed a lot of the Chinese, too. Um, they have no few, I think. I don't know sure about these guys, though. And at this point, research doesn't even matter. A Maximists, uh, 4 million manpower. They got a lot of fuel here. The Qing Empire, no fuel. 179 divisions, 122 divisions, so... We'll see what happens. If we can actually figure out what's going on with all this lag. Hopefully we can finish off Australasia pretty quickly. Ooh. Not bad. And I've, I think I deleted another division, or another army. Just completed another army, so... It's alright. It's okay. Just keep sinking everything they got. Because, my goodness, our task forces are massive. Actually, give me half of you guys. Just go the other way. So supply isn't nearly as bad. So, there you go. And there you go. Go right ahead. And we got, jeez, 14 million manpower. Would you look at that? So much manpower. Where did that do? There you go. We have... No, we don't. That sucks. Oh, Australia. You are a very large continent. Who knew? Chinese task forces go bye-bye. I mean, just, just sinking the convoys. Oops, and let's keep going, let's keep going. Oh, look at that, oh, that's so nice. Well, we're doing pretty darn well, Burma's doing a number on us, but we've, well, we're almost in Bhutan, go figure. And JFK is leading the assault into Nepal, I think. Kind of weird thing to say, but hey, we'll take it. All right, goodbye, Bhutan. 
Good morning, Bhutan. We are under a new administration now. Actually, can we just take Calcutta and win? That'd be kind of nice. That should be very nice, but I don't think we can. Uh, the Qing Chinese. Oh, 24 ships sunk there. Another 12 sunk right there. A couple, a lot of convoys, actually. 12 more ships sunk. Followed up with a convoy. Followed up with a convoy. Followed up with 36 screams. Wow. Just sinking. Oh, so many ships. Oh, the Indian Navy is just getting destroyed. Even though, this is why you have always have to build capital ships. Just screens getting sunk all the time. Look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, it's tasty. Can you please call for Australasians now? Keep going, guys. I know it's very laggy, but it is August. How many have we lost? 110,000, which makes sense. Versus half a million versus 1.4 million Chinese, but that means basically nothing. Um, yeah, basically. Which sucks, but whatever. Yeah, we're probably going to lose a few divisions here, but at this point, I can't really care too much. Uh, is anyone close to capitulating? No, they're not, which kind of sucks, but whatever. Yeah, this, is, this really sucks. The amount of lag, the amount of processing that has to go on. Ooh, Beijing might be a frontline city, though. Wow, you can tell the game is just chugging, even after it annexed everyone else. Uh, Fate of Bhutan. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Bhutan doesn't get its independence. Just more task forces just dying. There's no point in looking at them. I don't... Uh, I mean, they have no fuel, which helps out, but still. They do have a couple battleships, though. The Indians have nothing, so. Good to know. And our guys, they're just, just... The tanks are just like... Who cares if we die? We're just going to literally go down the coast and see what India has to offer for us. It's not a bad idea. But still. Alright, keep going. Oh my goodness, why do you do it like this, guys? Come on. You guys are still over there. The Marines are still doing a very good job. There you go. Keep going, keep going. When you get a Perth... I didn't know Perth was on the uh, western side of Australia. Then again, I've never been to Australia. It'd be kind of cool if we could go sometime, but... Then again, during certain times, it might not be... Uh, smart to go to places like that just because lockdowns but anyways yeah we're definitely gonna be losing a few more divisions here my bad oh well I mean one for one the Jap the Japanese obviously the Japanese couldn't stop us but the Chinese can't stop us either seriously look at the tank he's just like I want to go to the tip of India and they're like okay let's go these guys are spreading out around here but I don't think anyone really cares you guys how oh, we do something? I oh, would take everyone and do that. Let's go, go, go. Nope, so we lost two more tank divisions, I think. Maybe? Yeah, probably. I can't really care at this point in the campaign. Please just capitulate someone. It's so laggy. Oh my gosh. We lost, what, 200,000 men? Oh, about 200,000 so far. I mean, we killed off over 3.5 million, so. Overall, I'd say that's pretty good. Oh god, look at Jing China. 112 division still. I still have quite a bit of artillery. Uh, gun wise, it doesn't look like they have a lot. Of, oh, they got a lot of artillery. Uh, I'm not seeing a lot of guns for them. So even if we touch them, they still die. So, Especially when you use 40 combat with infantry. That's, that's uh, pretty strong stuff. Come on, Marines. You got encircled. God dang it, you stupid marine. Why'd you get encircled? Come on, just capitulate somebody. My goodness. You know, why is it so laggy when we deleted so many divisions already? I'll never understand. Guys, go. I gave you orders. Why are you not going? What the heck is wrong with you? I literally gave you orders and you refused to go. No. You move now, 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 now. Alright. Courtney Hicks is doing a good job, but if he refuses to do orders, like, you're going to get fired. You're literally going to get fired if you don't do the orders. Like, that, it doesn't make sense. You don't, have an, you don't have a say in this. Oh, we're going to lose that Marine Division, probably. Come on, guys. Why are you stopping? Keep going. Oh, God, so lucky. You can see, I mean, Hoi 4. My goodness, Paradox. You need a new engine for this. Oof. But we're still moving down. The China pretty darn nice. Pretty good. Does anyone have upgrades? Terry. Hmm. I guess we'll make a few more divisions, I suppose. We don't have a lot of war support, but that's alright. There you go. Zoom in so the game can process a little bit more smoothly. Oh, yeah. Looks like we lost a few guys here, maybe. Keep going. Keep going. Burma is just doing a really good job against us, but whatever. 
Can we please just just get their victory points? Go, 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 go. Uh, how much more for India? India is about three quarters of the way there, maybe? Maybe. Oh, there goes Sydney. That's good. Where's the capital now? Oh, Mysore. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. And up through there and get to Mysore and get to Madras so we get some more uh, supply for you guys. That'd be really good, actually. Lots of supply. Marine stuff and lost everybody yet, but capital is where? The Australasia is not. Look how laggy it is. Oh, it's, oh I'm not going to Wellington. Are you kidding me? I'm not invading Wellington. No. I, re I absolutely refuse to invade Wellington. I've already invaded more than enough in this campaign. But my god, paradox, this is so bad. <laughs> oh, the goodness. Capital is. Still my sword. Come on, guys, keep going. I know tanks, it, it sucks fighting in the mountains. It really does. Oh, we lost another two tank divisions. I can't be bothered to care at this point in the campaign. I mean, I've conquered literally the entire world. <sighs> this should just be a submit button. I know there's a, probably a sub mod for that, but still. All we need is someone to capitulate. Get one person to capitulate. One nation. Well, maybe except for, like, Nepal. Or, yeah, we were took up Bhutan, so. And then, it should get a little bit faster, but oh my goodness. I uh, know driving them tanks up a hill, up a mountain isn't very smart, but keep going. You can make it. Come on, JFK, get to my store. Hopefully that'll be it. That'll be it, hopefully. Oof. Ah, oh, we got him. We got him. And link up after that. All right, so much more for India. They gotta be getting closer, right? Right? I'm surprised we haven't lost any Marines yet, though. I thought we would have lost the Marines by now, but hey, it is what it is, I guess. Uh, China is just a god-awful mess. Holy crap, this is so bad. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, Wuhu is cool and all, but Nanjing is... That's kind of king, so... I think the Indian Bharatiya economy is going to capitulate first. I mean, they're literally 93% of the way there, so... JFK, you've lost a lot of guys. I mean, for the love of God, you've lost a lot of guys. But you're doing okay still. So. It could be so much worse. Guys, help. What are you doing? Go there. I just said go there. Oh, uh, where's the capital of India? Patna? What the heck is it? Patna. Break out over there. You guys go to Patna. If you can get over there quick enough, you could probably win the war. Quite literally. The entire war. Hmm. 94% of the way there. Maybe we get Pondicherry. That might be enough, maybe. Maybe not. Oh, do we have any soldiers around here? India is such a big place. You go to Yanam. Just break over so you can get some supply. Oh, we're so close to Patna. Go, go, go. Use those. Get Use those chubby American legs. Oh, no. They, okay, oof. It's so laggy, I can't even, like, hover over and get a text box. Come on, we're so close. We're so close. We're so close. God, they got cool hats, but go, 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 go. We're almost there. Oh, they stopped us. Are you kidding me? India. Oh, I'm going to burn India to the ground, man. That's not cool. Oh, India. Oh, hello. 100%. All right, boys and girls, we've got them. India's ours. God dang it, the Chinese are still here. Ah. She on. Okay, so when is China going to give up? We took Nanjing. They should be giving up very soon as well, hopefully. Keep going, guys. Get to there and get to there. That might actually be enough for you to take out. Oh, they took Wuhu back. Oh, come on. Don't let them get Wuhu. Or Nanjing. So many victory points. I don't understand why China has so many victory points, as well as India, but still. Oh, we got him. We got him, everyone. We got him. Oh, fall of Hong Kong. Woof. Nice. Okay, so that's one of them done. Now let's focus on the Burmese and just kill them off. Like, Burmese, you got problems, and I don't want to deal with them, so. I thought these guys would capitulate first, but I guess not. It's alright. I'm not invading Wellington. They need to comp completely capitulate if they get attacked here, so. Go, 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 go. At least they're gone. 
These guys should be much easier to take out. And JFK, you lost four tank divisions. Man, that is so sad. How did you ever become president? <laughs> uh, so how's India not... Oh, India is gone. But Burma... Why is Burma a major power? How many factories it got? It's still so incredibly laggy. It's not like I got a lot of things in the background either. Updating divisions. Uh, Factory-wise, they've got... Less than 50. Oh, uh, they have 50. So, I mean, I guess technically that does make them a major power if I remember correctly. But still, man, come on. Guys, just go. Please take out the, the evil people in Nepal. They're too strong for us in Nepal. Uh, you're missing the big target there, guys. Mandalay is probably the big target. Man, look at this guy. He's level 9 in skill. And level skill 10 in supply consumption. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, you think China's going to be... Yeah, no. Just eat him up. We still have max ability. Alright, there go the Indians and the Bharatiya Commune. Not bad. Cool. Alright, Marines, you did a great job so far. I hate this part. I hate it so much. Victory points. You should not need to invade New Zealand and take out the Australasian Confederation. Ah, That's super annoying. But... We got the mighty ne Nepalese menace still here to deal with. So everyone, hope you like uh, South or just maybe South Asian mountains. There you go. Thank you, Nepal. Diplomacy. Um, Malta. Okay, so you can look at the cons command I've been uh, using probably. At this point, I, I don't even care. So, we're going to use Consequence for this one. Look at that. I did use Allow Diplo for the entire thing. Just to go to war. So, here we go. What is this? MLT? Uh, just go. I don't even care at this point. I, I don't know why Malta has been, like, freed. When we take out the Third International, and Russia took him out too, I don't know why that we just didn't annex him completely. That makes literally no sense to me. So... Oh, please tell me that's... Oh my, why? Who, who designed that? <laughs> I'll be honest, like, who designed that? You had to take out New Zealand for the entire Australasian Confederation. That's not fun. That's really not fun. <laughs> Why? Force it. I don't want to fight anyone in there. Dundon. Okay, how are they not gone? We've literally invaded and took out what was New Zealand's capital. How is that not enough? Seriously. Oops, my bad. Cool. But as you can tell, I'm pretty much done with this campaign. This campaign's been way too long for me. But I don't think I'll ever do another World Conquest again. But that's going to end us for here. So if you enjoyed the campaign, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow. Not in Kaiser Redux, but in a different campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.